In this video, I want to explore the permission system of GraphQL. Right here, we see the permissions for my user, my file, and my post type. And in general, using the permission system of GraphQL, you're able to precisely specify what kind of users should be able to perform which operations on your types. If you don't specify any permissions at all, no user will be able to create, read, update, or delete any data. However, whenever you're creating a new type, there will be default permissions generated for you for all the operations on that type. This is what we see right here. And at the moment, every user is able to perform all any operation on our types. For my application, I have two requirements. The first one is that only a logged in user should be able to create a new post. And the second requirement is that only the original author of a post should be able to modify it later on. In order to realize the first requirement, we have to edit the create permission on the post type. We have to define a rule to make sure that only an authenticated user is able to create a new post. We only have to check the little checkbox up here to realize this requirement. The second requirement is that only the author of a post should be able to update data, uh, update the post, so we have to change the edit permission on the post type. This time, we not only have to check the authentication required rule, but we also have to specify a permissions query that allows us to express the data access permissions in the form of a GraphQL query. That query by default has access to a number of variables. And in our case, the variables that we need are the ID of the post that is to be updated, that is already being passed into the query, as well as the ID of the currently logged in user that we can pass into the query like this. We now can use the filter system to make sure that the currently logged in user is also the author of the post that is to be updated. This query is going to be evaluated every time someone tries to update an existing post. This post is identified by this particular node ID. Only if this query returns true in the end, the update mutation is actually going to be performed. So with this filter, we can make sure that the currently logged in user is also the author of the post that is to be updated. Only if that is the case, the update mutation will actually be performed. 